My name is Steve, but my friends on trail call me Muppet. Muppet! Woo! Yeah! In March 2021, my friend and I went down to the Mexico border to start a hike to Utah. This 800 mile hike is known to many as the Arizona Trail. There it is. Look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. And there's Mexico. And here's America. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Arizona Trail. Here is the monument, and today we start the Arizona Trail. It is March 14th. Behind me is Mexico, and in front of me is Utah. And with me is Tropic. Tropic. <laughs> Finish the Colorado Trail. And now we're in Mexico. Oh, and it's windy. So today is March 15th, it's actually day two. Yesterday was actually really brutal. It was just about like, how many miles did we say it was to, for climbing, like nine miles? About six miles of climbing. Six miles of climbing? Okay, that's better six than nine. And it was just climbing. And on top of that, of course, we have snow up here, which started turning into ice. And I don't know, it was terrible. <laughs> we just realized today that that climb is the highest point on this entire trail so we did the high point on day one so whatever now we're gonna try to push our first 20 mile day and get some good water and good food here's to day two so today has been pretty cruisy actually since we were at like the highest point last night like it's quite literally all downhill from here kinda, but for today, it's literally all downhill from here. Um, we've just been going downhill, kinda cruisy, soft inclines like this, but today's just been really great trail, which is awesome, cause like I was saying, yesterday was, yesterday was rough. The day one was hard. The climb was pretty intense. There's a lot of snow and ice, which was kinda sketchy to walk over. All in all, like, yeah, it was hard, but it was it was good, you know? I wouldn't trade it for anything else. But yeah, today is great because it was just a reminder, like, those hard things are going to happen, but you're going to be rewarded with, like, these really good hikes. Because hiking is definitely the hardest part of hiking, so it's nice to be rewarded with some cruisy, smooth, beautiful hiking. So that was actually... The first piece of ice I just walked over in a long time, which is cool. But yeah, about, uh, I'd say probably seven miles from where we are now. We are going to a big water source. Can't remember the name of it right now, but I'll check it when I get there. And it's apparently the first, like, really good water source. Like, actually flowing and stuff like that. Not out of a an old bathtub like the one we had today which wasn't even that bad of water. I was expecting it to taste worse, but it didn't. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep on cruising and film some more beautiful things out here. Boom. First gate. First gate. <laughs> oh my God, like they are just so funny. Look at them. Big homies. What are they thinking? What is on their mind? Oh, by the way, it's worth mentioning that for, oh, I still have the zoom on two times. By the way, it is worth mentioning that the first gate, you don't actually walk through it. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the right. We went through it and we ran into people who also went through it and it is off trail, so. Good morning. Today is March 16th. 
day three of the Arizona Trail. Yesterday we did 21 miles, uh, 21 or 22, and we're uh, either 21 or 22 away from Patagonia, which is our goal for today. I am not gonna lie, at the end of the day yesterday, my knee started hurting really bad and it's been uh, pretty bad today. And of course, since I've only downloaded one album on my phone, I don't have music to distract me from the pain that is in my knee, so it's been on my mind a lot today, which, ugh. But I'm not letting that bring my spirits down too much, I'm just trying to ignore it and push on through it. It's also pretty cold today. Yesterday was great, perfect temperature. Today though, as you might notice, it's dark on me because it's very cloudy. Um, we actually got a little bit of rain when we woke up, but there's some blue skies peeking through ahead of me, but not much sun on me, which is making me a little cold. Well, the sun came out, but it's still super windy. We're on track. I popped some ibuprofen. My knee's feeling a little better, but I think I'll be fine making it into Patagonia today. I was a little worried I might not uh, be able to pump out the 22 miles today, but I think I'll be okay. And if not, we, we go to Patagonia tomorrow, is what it is, but I think, I think we'll be good. So we're pushing into Patagonia, and this is our first road walk. So for the next three miles, the Arizona Trail is just on this road. So here we go. <laughs> here comes our first car. So this is what we're doing. We are right next to Patagonia. Thank God, because we did, of course, decide to push on to Patagonia. But man, my knee is really, really killing me, and uh, there's no avoiding it. So we're going to see what we can do, try to Nero tomorrow, and hopefully have a little bit of a recovery day, and hopefully I'm feeling good the day after. But right now I'm just really excited to eat some good food and relax, because this road walk has been hurting bad. When we got into Patagonia, unfortunately, the only hotel was booked. But who needs hotels? A wonderful trail angel kindly offered to let us stay in their greenhouse. We shared a few drinks, popped a few blisters, and had just the recovery I needed. We started the next morning right, with breakfast burritos and a fresh resupply from the local market. We were just about ready to get back on trail, but that will have to wait until next episode. Thanks for watching.